Hey everyone, Dr. Schlesinger here. I've been asked to respond to the question, why does an all-powerful God require a human sacrifice, Jesus, to forgive our sins? This is a great question, and my initial response to it might be a little bit surprising, because the fundamental answer to the question is, he doesn't. God is supremely free and is under no constraints or necessity to do anything except be God. And so, when theologians look at the acts of God, whether in the creation more broadly, or through his relationship with Israel, or especially in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, it's basically never in order to explain why anything had to happen. Because if it isn't God, it's not necessary. Instead, Christian theology looks at what God has done, and then tries to understand it, asking questions like, what does it mean? Or, how is it fitting that God has done this? And this same basic principle applies to the way that God has redeemed humanity through the death and resurrection of Jesus. He didn't have to do this, not just because he didn't have to redeem us, it is a free gift rather than an obligation on God's part, but because God could have redeemed us any number of ways. As the question notes, he is all-powerful. But from the very beginning of the, the Christian movement, theologians have insisted that it was especially appropriate for God to redeem us in this way. Now, there have been a lot of proposals over the centuries, and some of them are better than others. Some of them, in fact, I would say are bad? Uh, I won't get into that here, but two common themes are worth noting. The first is that the sacrifice of Jesus isn't simply something that God requires or imposes or receives, as if he needed to be appeased by Jesus' death. Rather, as Paul writes in his second letter to the Corinthians, God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. So it's fundamentally God's act and initiative that's happening here. Uh, he's not being bought off by the death of Jesus. The second uh, theme that is common to most Christian traditions is that by redeeming us in this way, God enters into solidarity with humanity. God becomes human in Jesus, and he lives a fully human life all the way to the end, death. And with the resurrection, he shows his commitment to humanity, even on the far side of death. And so in this way, we see in Jesus, God and humanity in perfect unity, and humanity brought into the fullness of life that God is. Now, different Christian traditions have explained the mechanics of this in various ways, but at the core, uh, more or less, all the Christian traditions agree on those central elements.